All right, Shalom. It's Brett from the JMS North Carolina. Came back with another video. Before we go any further, we have all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhak Wadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of great millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible rule well. In peace and blessings to the full light of the nation of Israel today through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. Just going to get into a lesson. You know, center upon this whole ISUPK thing, you know, you had the those goons of the ISUPK set, you know, roll up on the brothers. I believe it was out there in Pittsburgh, you know. Brothers can uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that. Just got done uh, watching, you know, a couple brothers response videos. And when it comes down to the end of the day, you know, you, you, you um, guys are not coming up against us. We are just servants. We are just men on the earth trying to please our lord the truth of the matter is you're coming against Yahweh Yaw Shai you know and really <coughs> the heavenly father which I'm gonna get that you know you do not hate men on the earth you hate your creator you know and you prove that by your actions St. Luke 10 and 16 he that the, he that hear if you hear of me and this is written in red so this is the Lord speaking the ones who our people claim to believe in, you know? He that hear of you, hear of me. And he that despise of you, despise of me. And that word despise means to hate, you know? And they showed that they hated, you know, the men of Great Millstone, you know, by them going out there and trying to um, bully them off off the uh, spot where they teach at, you know? This is, a. Uh, they were saying in the background, this is UPK Corner. No one, look, we're not worried about that. We're, our thing is to preach the gospel and get the hell out of here, you know? We're not uh, trying to set up uh, corners here in America. You know, we go out there and preach the word like we're commanded to do, but we're trying to make it out of here. We want to make it out of America, you know? But these guys, they clearly want to stay here. It says, he that hear of you, hear of me, and he that despise of you, despise of me. So, you, you, you think you're despising us? Look, you despising Lord Yahweh, you're despising the Lord. The one who's coming back with the band of angels to put those who don't want to uh, allow him to reign over them, put to death. Which, I'm going to get that. Let me get that real quick. No, I haven't brought that one out in a, in a while. Let me, Lord's one, I can find it real quick. <coughs> Was it 19 and 27? Yeah, Shai. This is St. Luke 19 and 27. But those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. And you, you're you proving to the Lord that you don't want him to reign over you. By what? By you not hearkening to his men. You're not hearkening to his messengers. So, look, the Lord is going to, I'm going read it again, but those my enemies, so the Lord has enemies, and it's, and it's really, they're the circumcision, you know? You have made yourself an enemy to Lord Yahweh Shai, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. So we don't have to do nothing. We don't have to uh, get into any physical altercations with these guys, you know? We just have to wait upon the Lord, you know, wait upon Yahweh by Shema Shai to defend us. The Lord is going to stand up against these niggas, you know. The scriptures say, um, <clears throat> it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. You know, the Lord is going to bring his enemies down. Well, let's get that, you know. Man, might as well read it. I want to start at the 30th uh, verse, you know. You know, this is just flowing in the spirit. You know, things I was meditating on while I was watching the lesson, you know, that the elder Manathazak, you know, from the main camp did. This is, um, <coughs> this is, uh, St. Luke, uh, uh, Hebrews 10 and 30. For, for we know him that have said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. Yes, so the Lord's going to judge his people. For the wickedness that they are doing on the planet Earth, for denying the Lord over two thousand years ago, these people forgot that they rejected Lord Yahweh when He was on the scene. You know, some of those guys were the same ones that had the Lord crucified, that had the Lord uh, get put to death. You know, and it's proven. It said, "He that hear of you, hear of me." <clears throat> Verse thirty-one. 
It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Yeah, so it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, you know? So the Lord can do uh, much worse than us, you know? The Lord is going to judge his people, and that's going to be a fearful thing for you uh, mockers and scoffers, those who think this truth is a game, those who think this truth is all about numbers, you know, uh, making sets here, you know? St. Luke ten sixteen. He that you hear of you, hear of me, and he that despise of you, despise of me, and he that despise of me, despise of him that sent me. So if you hate the 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 men, uh, you know, primarily the men of Great Millstone, you know, out there on the highways and byways, you know, teaching the truth according to the Bible. You hate the Lord, you know, you hate the Heavenly Father ultimately, you know, and you and the Lord. He's going to slay his enemies that don't want to submit themselves to the Most High. So you say, submit yourselves unto the Most High. Humble yourselves. But these guys are not humble. These guys are carnal men. This is uh, St. John 1. I'm going to start at 6. There was a man sent from the Most High whose name was John. Here it is. These guys claim that uh, John the Baptist was not a man of the Lord. It, it, it just... It just said it right here. There was a man sent from the Most High whose name was John. Who's this talking about? The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but he was sent to bear witness of that light, that light being Lord Yahushai, who this world hates. That was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Like, are these guys even reading the scriptures? You can tell a lot of their congregation are not reading the scriptures, you know? They're not reading. You know, they're not studying them show that self-approved unto the Most High. You know, they're doing this thing for men. for As man-pleasers. But this is the point. I'm going to jump down. Uh, verse 10. He was in the world... Talking about Lord Yahweh, and their world was made by him, and the world knew him not. See, these people don't know Lord Yahweh, you know, they don't know the Lord. They are, they follow the devil. If you were the children of Abraham, you would do the works of Abraham. Let me finish this out. <coughs> Let me go to this right quick. The St. John 8 and. Let me see where I want to start. Verse 42. No. Slocky Brothers. Really, you can start up. But, um, St. John 8 and 39. We'll get straight to the point. They answered and said unto him, Abraham be our father. Yahweh shall say unto them, If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me. A man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard the Most High, did this did not Abraham. If these guys had the, if it was in their power, they would uh put they would have put those brothers to death. You know, what we're not in the time of the prophets, the the men the Lord, the prophets of the heavenly fathers of blood being shed. I'm gonna read that again. It says, <coughs> verse thirty nine. The answer is said unto him. Talking about unto the Lord, because this is written in red. This is Yahweh Shai, replying back to these uh, wicked niggas. Abraham be our father. Yahweh Shai saith unto them, If Abraham, if, if you were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that have told you the truth. And is that not, is that not what we were doing? We were just men speaking the truth. We're just men out there on the highways and byways being the messengers of the Lord, giving our people the truth, you know, where they hear, where they forbear. I, which I have heard of the Most High, and we heard this straight from Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know. The Heavenly Father gave it to the Lord, and the Lord gave it to us. This did not Abraham, you do the, ye, ye do the deeds of your father. This said they to him. We be not born of fornication. We have one father, even the Most High. Yahweh shall say unto them, If ye were your father, ye would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from the Most High. Neither I came I of myself, but he sent me. 
Yeah, so if these people, you know, these men of the ICPK set, you know, if they were sincere, they would uh they were show for a uh, brotherly love, you know, towards the towards the men of the Lord. You know, they would show that the Lord they would show Lord Yahushai in in the Heavenly Father that they love them by, you know, uh teaching the one hundred percent truth of the Bible. You know, not teaching for filthy lucre's sake, taking this thing, uh, and not uh, you know, taking part in the Passover as some uh, a lamb dinner, as a Israelite party, Israelite reward show. You know, these men were sincere. They would love the Lord. You know, they would feed the lambs of that of the Lord. You know, with the word, not with not with not with their own words, not with lies. This is uh, back in St. John 1 and 11. You know, you can keep reading down in St. John 8 and, and um, 43. Let's, let's keep reading now. It says, why do you not understand my speech? Even because ye cannot hear my words. Ye are of your father the devil. In the lust of your father ye will do. Talking about the so-called white men. They are of, they are of this world. You know, they are all following the God of this world, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom. He was a murderer from the beginning and the bold not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speak of a lie, he speak of his own for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not, you know, yeah, there um, they can't abide in this truth, you know, and we are telling them the truth. We're telling them the truth according to the Bible. They don't want to believe it, you know. They're calling us pedophiles. They're calling us rapists, you know. They're slandering our names in the mud, you know. But that doesn't mean anything, because what you're coming against the Lord ultimately. This is back in uh, Saint John one and eleven. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. So look, he came, Yahweh Shai came onto his own. We are coming onto our own. And they are not receiving us. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become sons of the Most High, even to them that believe on his name. So that's what, that's what this thing is about, you know? Um, being believing on the lord you know not following after men you know but sincerely believing on lord yahweh Shai. this is a uh, saint john 17 and 14 i have given them thy word thy word this is the lord talking about the elect he have given the elect his word i have given them thy word and the world have hated them yet this world hates us because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Yeah, we were preaching, you know, you know, you know, we got to build a kingdom here in America, you know. We got to um, live and let live. We got to let the Edomites, you know, the Lord's going to deal with them eventually. You know, we got we to, gotta, you know, we're supposed to love Edomites, you know. I'm not saying that's what these guys are saying, but, you know, what they say, um, we don't hate Israelites. God hates uh, Saki. We don't hate Edomites. God hates uh, white people, you know. Edomites, you know, God hates Edomites, and we hate Edomites because why? It's 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 it's, it's, it's righteous, you know. And so I for saying Israelites. I mean Edomites, you know. I'm just gonna bring out one or two more precepts. I'm going to close it out, you know. I'm gonna close it out on that Acts the fifth chapter. But this is um, this First Thessalonians four and eight. And it reads, he therefore, he therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but the Most High who hath sent us his Holy Spirit. He, I'm going to read that again. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but the Most High who hath sent, who have also given us, given unto us his Holy Spirit. Yes, yeah, so... These these guys coming up against you know the the believers in Lord Yahweh Shai, the 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 believers of the Lord, you know you're coming against your your maker you're coming against your creator you you're showing the the heavenly Father how much you truly hate him you know you know scriptures say uh, love thy neighbor as thyself these these men are not showing that they love 
uh, their neighbors, you know, they're not following the teachers of the Lord, the teachings of Lord Yahushai. They are contrary. They are clean contrary to what the Lord has uh, directed his uh, uh, true believers to walk in these last days, you know. No, but you can read um, Matthew, the fifth chapter for yourself. This is how, you know, we're supposed to be uh, tre treating one another. But they're not, they're not, they're, they don't fall under that boat. They're not under the house of David, you know. They're they're being wicked, you know. This, they're in the house of Saul. This is uh, Saint, Saint, uh, this is Acts, the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 38. And now, I'm going to start that, um... Sorry, 34, 33. When they heard that they were cut to the heart and it took counsel to slay them. See, these men, they want to take counsel to slay the men the Lord. Then stood up there one in the council, a Pharisee named Gam Gamali, Gamalia, Gamal Gamalia. Slacky brothers, I'm pronouncing the, his, his name wrong. A doctor of the law had in reputation among all the people and commanded to put the possible for a little space. He told them to back up, you know, give the man the Lord some space, you know. But these guys are running up, acting like this is a, a, a gang war or something, run up, running up on someone's corner, you know, trying to intimidate the brothers, you know. Scriptures say the uh, the righteous are bold as a lion. And he said unto them, Ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men. So these men need to take heed to themselves. They need to uh, beware, you know, as touching the men of the Lord. For before these days rose up the Theodos, boasting himself to be somebody. That's what these men are doing. They're boasting to be somebody. To whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves who was slain. And all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. After this man arose up Judaeus of Galilee in the, in the days of taxing and drew away much people after him. He also perished. And all even as many as obeyed him were dispersed. So there was different sets and different times. You know, where where men rose up, you know they they stood for something, but what they were they perished. Their the, their works failed, you know, and the, their followers dispersed with them. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. You have to refrain from us, you know. Let us alone, for this counsel or this work be of man, it will come to naught. Yeah, what we're doing is of man. You know, we're just guys out there on the street corner, uh, bum, bumming lights, who don't have jobs, who have nothing better to do with their lives. What we're doing is going to come to naught, you know? The Most High is going to stop it. But if it be of the Most High, which it is, this truth is of the Most High, you know? This is not us. This is not uh, something we just decided to wake up and do, pass out flyers and ask people if they want to sign up. To, to to join the camps, pass out flowers and ask them they want to go curse out the so called white man. No. It says, But if it be of the most high, ye cannot overthrow it, least happily ye be found even to fight against the most high. So what? If they wanna fight against the most high, you know, they're gonna keep uh trying to attack the brothers. They're gonna continue to uh um to try to come up against the truth, but you know, you're you can't fight against the most high. You know, the Most High, He is. He exists. The Most High created you. We read earlier what the Most High is going to do unto those that don't want Him to reign over them. You know, if you don't want the Lord to reign over you, He's going to put you down. He's going to put you to death. <coughs> but I'm going to get one last scripture. This is um, uh, Timothy's. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse... Um, Slakia. Second Timothy three and twelve, yea, and all that shall live godly, and all that will live godly in the Mashiach Yahweh shall suffer persecution. So brothers remember 
you know, we're coming to the end. We're coming to the times, you know, where our faith is going to be tested. You know, we're going to have to suffer persecution. God's coming up against us. But the Lord said he's made, he it made us a brazen city, you know, a defense. You know, the Lord, the Lord has us. The Lord has our backs. The Lord is with us, you know. This is of the most high. So, you know, what they're doing is going to come to naught, you know. But, you know, just remember, they're coming up against the Lord. You know, this is the Lord's show, you know, and yeah, Yahweh Shai, you know, and the holy angels and the Most High is all with us. With that, we give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekar Kodash. That will honor our apostle and elders of great millstone of teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible and rule well in peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, so next time we say, Shalom.